Hello again, Victor here from Rescue Studio. I sincerely apologize for the lack of content that I haven't been providing over the last few weeks, or actually it's more than a few we weeks, it's more than, I think it's it was 80 days since my last upload the other day, and I have no idea when this is going out. I am trying to get some bulk videos going, so I have some content for you guys. But um, you're not here because you want to hear about my life. Maybe you are in that case. Well, hit me up. Let's talk about me. Let's talk about you. But you're here because you saw the thumbnail. You saw the title of this video. And you were wondering about this bad boy right here. This is the Harley Benton CST 24T P90 Ocean Flame. That's a name. But I mean, oh, look at that right there. The flames are not that prominent that I thought they would be. On the Toman's website, they look really, really, really good. Not to say that these doesn't look good, because they definitely do. They look great. But they're not, not as 3D as I'd like them to be. I mean, I, I don't know if it's veneer. Uh, I know Toman's website states it as um, just flamed maple. Uh, the body is made of mahogany, as is the neck. The fretboard is made of a wood that I don't think I've ever heard of before. It is made of a wood called Jatoba, and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and on Thomas' website, they state that it should have been baked. And if Thomas says that it's been baked, I believe it's been baked. It is rosewood-esque. It is a little bit more purple than rosewood. I would say, but it looks good and it doesn't feel that heavy. So that's a plus side for me. And then we have two Roswell P90 soap bar pickups, one in the neck, one in the bridge. Then we have a Wilkinson tremolo and that feels pretty nice if I'd have to say so myself. Three-way toggle switch, a volume and a tone, and you have some no-name tuners up there. They are not the best. Okay, autofocus is not my friend today. They're pretty decent. They do the job just fine. They're not great. They're not bad. Uh, they're pretty decent. Um, I would definitely consider buying some locking tuners, uh, some good locking tuners for this guitar, because this guitar is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This is this is a good deal. This is a good guitar for the, for the money. Um, the trim block in the back, in that camera right there, looks to be pretty thick. So a good trim block is not usually something you would find in this price range. So that's nice to see. Um, what else is there to say? Yeah, okay, there's uh, in the name, CST24, 24, 24 frets. I have no idea what the CST stands for. Custom Shop Triangle. I have no idea. Um, I don't think there's much else to say. Uh, it's a this particular guitar is a three-piece body. I don't know if you can see that in that camera there. Probably not, because autofocus is not being my friend today. I have no idea if that if that is in focus. But I mean, just take my word for it. It's it's a three-piece body, uh, two-piece top, and gorgeous. Sounds good. Plays well. Let's plug it in. All right, so I have gone ahead and I have hooked up the Harley Benton CST 24T P90 Ocean Flame into my setup. But before we go into some tones, I think I should just quickly run you through set setup. So um, it's the guitar running into my pedal board in front of me. I'm no longer running my Helix FX. I was missing my old analog effects. So I have the Nox Steel Singer Drive, the OCD, um, the Ibanez Super Stereo Chorus, the T-Rex Playback 60th Toman Anniversary, I think it actually is, um, delay, and into my Neunaba Seraphim Mono Shimmer Reverb. All of that is running into my Fender Bass Breaker over there, and that is not being mic today, because I decided to use my Two Notes Capter X a lot more, so I've been using that a lot recently. So that is going directly into the audio interface. So no microphone in front of the cabinet today, but I think that's all right, because the Two Note Capter X 
sounds amazing. I already did a full review of, on that. And if you want to watch that, link should be up somewhere. Um, anyway, this is the clean tone on the Harley Benton CST. No, I'm not going to say it again. This is the clean tone. On the bridge pickup. It's actually breaking up the amp. It's, it's a hard amp to break up. switched over to the neck pickup. I'm sorry. I have to say this guitar plays really, really nice. It doesn't feel like a really inexpensive guitar, but I mean, I would pick this up over my um, Gibson Les Paul that I also did a full review on, link somewhere. It's just, it's really good, this guitar. Full disclosure, I'm not getting paid to do this video. Holly Benton didn't send me this guitar. It's a birthday present for from my family. So um, they just decided to buy me this and I'm really happy that they did because it's it's really good guitar. So I'm not getting paid to say any of these things that I'm saying and I think that's probably a good idea because I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Should we go to the middle position? Here we go. Wow, that's bad. Well, I'm bad. The guitar is great. Should probably have tuned the guitar before I did this video. And the neck pickup is where the all the goodness of this guitar comes into play. Do we get some uh, slapback delay from the T-Rex playback? So good, man. I have to do this. I have to play something for Anas. I'm gonna turn on the OCD, go to the bridge pickup, and here we go. <laughs> So now that that's out of the way, um, what should we do? What should we do? Let's get some reverb and let's hear the tone control on the bridge pickup. It, it doesn't really do a whole lot like like from between like here 
<laughs> like here, oh, that's hard to show on video. From like 10 to seven, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Then it swoops in. And the neck pick up, tone all the way down. Same thing with the neck pickup, doesn't really do a whole lot from 10 to 7, but I mean, that's fine. I, I've never I've never caught myself using the tone control, actually. It's always all the way up or all the way down, and I have never used something in between. I don't think. I do that sometimes on accident, but not on purpose. <laughs> Volume knob. Nice and smooth all the way down. funky chords. Um, should we just get some overdrive tones? I think we should. So I'm going to turn on the Nux Steel Singer Drive. I also did a full review on that and link should be... I forgot. It's been so long since I did a YouTube video. I have no idea if... I think it's... It should be up there, right? I think the link is up there. So you should probably click it and watch that video as well after you watched this video. <laughs> That's maybe too much reverb. Let's go back to the T-Rex playback. That was sloppy. I should probably tell you guys that more often than not when I receive a guitar I usually just give it a tune, give it a quick setup, I'd, usually I replace the strings before I give it a setup, but I haven't done anything to this guitar. Not at all. This is the strings that it came with and I received it like two weeks ago or something. So they're not brand new, but they're not, I mean, I haven't been playing as much guitar as I probably should have over the past couple of weeks. So um, it's it's the strings are not new, but it, they're not too used. Um, anyway, neck pickup. Now let's go to the middle position first. <laughs> Here we go. What really surprises me about this guitar is that the bridge pickup sounds great, the neck pickup sounds great, and together they sound great, and the playability of this guitar, it's great. This guitar is great.
Okay, so something I haven't done with this guitar yet is stress test the tremp system. It is an affordable tremolo system, so I don't think it will hold up too well. I haven't come across a trem system as stable as the one on my Stratocaster, but um, I think we should just test it out and see if it stays in tune. <laughs> Okay, wow. That's as far as it goes. A little out of tune, but I think that's pretty okay. Is always the g-string anyway i think that's pretty much it for this guitar is there anything else to say about it other than it is made in vietnam and it has a long serial number um the guitar is pretty great the saddles are lovely it's lovely to mute because they're so so well done the the fretboard is beautifully made the frets are beautifully made um i don't think that i have any complaints Maybe hmm, the trem system was okay. I would sh I would change the uh, the tuning packs, not the packs, but the tuners themselves. Um, other than that, I think this is a almost a flawless guitar. It is it is really really good. Um, is it for you? Maybe if you can get a hold of it. I don't think Toman will sell them in the next six weeks because they are out of stock and. Corona has made the the entire world weird, but um, if you can get a hold of these, I I suggest that you you get a hold of these because they're pretty good. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this guitar in the comment section down below. And as always, have a good one. Take care and bye bye.